Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today on the Craft Ninja YouTube channel. Today's video is an art journal entry for Art Journal Adventures. The prompt was to start with an initial layer of text. The first step I used Annie Skinner's Alphabet Soup 8x8 stencil and Liquitex modeling paste. Now I already did this off camera because I got so excited, so sorry. I lay down a layer of the modeling paste, take off the stencil, let it dry, and then start coating it with that golden absorbent ground. Next up, we have some brusho colors. Now I usually scoop out my pigment, but today I wanted to sprinkle it on my artwork. So push in the thumbtacks into the top, or you can hammer them like I did here. Honestly, they go in very easily. And just tap, tap, tap all those lovely thumbtacks in. Now, in no particular order, go ahead and grab your colors. Let's see, violet, sea green, oster red, turquoise, and just shake, shake, shake. Shake them all over your artwork. Now grab your spray bottle of choice and spray and watch the colors develop and bloom into a Technicolor rainbow. I also use a broader water brush at this stage to have a little bit more controlled drippage. Spread the colors around the page until they feel at home, Mrs. Robinson. At this stage, you can leave it to let it dry. Like me, you can grab a roll of paper towels and just roll it across your artwork. And voila, c'est bon. Moving right along, I'm going to start playing with some distress crayons. First off, we have some picked raspberry. Smoosh some of that off onto your craft mat or whatever you're using as a palette. Spritz it with exactly, I mean exactly two spritzes of water. What? Who am I kidding? You don't have to do that. Just get it to be a nice spreadable consistency with your palette knife and just smear that now spreadable crayon where you'd like. Whatever looks good to you. And I do dab it a bit with a baby wipe to get some of the color off the top layer. I also use my water brush to get the color into the crevices of the debossed area so that the letters can stand out. Next color on the chopping block is mustard seed. I went through the same steps as before, getting some of the crayon on my craft mat, spritzing it, and then making it, mixing it until it was smooth with my palette knife. is Mermaid Lagoon and also I believe I forgot to show but also peacock feathers next is spiced marmalade Don't forget to turn your artwork. Make your artwork work for you. In the touch-up stage, I'm going in with my water brush again to smooth out the pigment that has made it into the de debossed area, getting into the crevices and smoothing everything out so the color is, I guess, uniform 
in a certain sense. Now I've grabbed my Tim Holtz collection industrial stencil. Um, I've decided to use the words lost and art in my piece. So I've masked them off with some painter's tape. Now make sure when you're masking to mask off well beyond where you're going to be stenciling because as you can see, we're smoothing the modeling paste around and we want to make sure that we have enough area to have like some allowance and error so we don't get black modeling paste where we don't want it. You don't want that modeling paste paste accidentally on our artwork. Here I'm using a catalyst wedge to smooth and press the modeling paste into the stencil voids. The background is both colorful and chaotic, representing how I feel and, and in the state in which I am living. I am lost, lost, lost. But with art, it all comes together. Art anchors everything for me, bringing order to chaos. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on all the internet-y things. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!